there, it's Mrs. Drake with the clarinet. Okay, we are going to be doing book lesson 13, so please get out book lesson 13. And of course, I hope you warmed up on your five note scale um, before we start this. Um, lesson 13, and even before we do lesson 13, could you black, flip back to page 15, and I want to do the one on the bottom of the page. So flip back to page 15, the one on the bottom of the page, I call it number 5, and it says technique on the top of it, technique. Technique is finger skills, and it's a good warm-up. So everybody, page 15, the bottom of the page, the one called technique. Starts on a C, everybody warm up C. Okay, page 15, the one at the bottom. C, D, E, F. You'll see it's kind of five-note scale-ish. One, two, ready, go. starts the TTs and the real name for TT is two eighth notes and it does describe it up on the top of the page so lesson 13 two eighth notes TT and sometimes they're grouped in a group of four sometimes I call that a mega TT it'd be TT TT um, so right there that would be four eighth notes this page the notes are kind of all spread apart for some reason this page it's a little bit more normal looking but anyways on song one song one is just a bunch of G's we're gonna skip song number one certainly try it at your house if you want but we're gonna start on number two and you see it's C C C C C D E E E E E F because the speed of TT has to always be twice as the twice the speed of ta ta so if you're doing a bunch of ta's ta 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 t t speed would be t t t t t t t t t t always has to be twice as fast as ta ta okay everybody song number two lesson 13 song number two number breathe in and clear off your spit before you start every song everybody warm up a c t t t t song number two everybody one, two, ready, go. And that was song two. Alrighty, song three is a bunch of G's. Certainly feel free to pause the video and, and play song three. But let's move on to song number four. C, 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 D, 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 E, 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 D. Very spread out. I don't, like, I don't like how they printed this. It doesn't mean to play it faster or slower or anything. It's just for some reason the print that they used. Okay, everybody find a C. Song number four. C, C, C. One, two, song four, go. Let's take a look at song number five, and there you see that mega tt, t t t t t ta ta, t t t t ta. All right, so everybody find a G. Song number five starts on G. One, two, song five, go. Page six. I'm going to move that so you can see me a little bit better. Okay, song number six. G, 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 E, 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 G, 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 E. A little bit more challenging. Um, remember, on these songs that don't have any rests, 
Grab a breath wherever you feel like you need it. Remember, mouth breath, don't use your nose. Grab a breath whenever you feel like you need it. And the way to do it is to cut one of the notes a little bit short, or you can leave one of the notes totally off and grab a breath instead of playing that note. Now, don't lose your beat or whatever. Keep flowing along. But if you want to cut one of the notes short or leave one of the notes off to take a breath, it's totally okay. All right, song six. Everybody find a G. One, two, song six. song six. If I'm going a little too fast for you, remember that um, you can rewind the video and you know you can just hold your clarinet on your shoulder and just try to move your fingers along with me. That's a way to practice and it counts for your minutes like that. So if I'm going too fast, remember don't feel like you have to play along with me. You can just hold your clarinet mouthpiece on your shoulder and just try to move your fingers um, and that's a way to practice. Okay, song seven. Okay, it starts on C. Everybody find a C. Song number seven, T T Ta. One, two, song seven. song seven. Okay, the next one, I'm going to call it number eight, A Short Ride on Horseback. Um, the songs at the end of each lesson do have audio recordings that go. It's like background music where you could play the recording and play along with it, and I think you might enjoy that. I did send the recordings along on the Google Classroom on the main um, band page. Um, if you can find those recordings, and put them on while you play. It's usually the last song on each lesson that has a recording that goes with it. Okay, a short ride on horseback. Um, it's quite a longer song. Um, notice that the first measure isn't a full measure. There's supposed to be four beats in every measure. Do you notice how the first measure only has two beats? That's called pickup notes. It's it's very common, very commonly that the first measure doesn't have a full uh, doesn't have um, the full beats. It's called a pickup note. Pickup notes are commonly used in music. So I'm going to just lead it off with one, two, and you jump in. Um, C. C, D, E, 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 F, E. So we're going to take it at a brisk trot. <laughs> and I'm going to lead it off with just one, two. So everybody warm up your C. Okay, remember, I'm going to lead it off with just one, two. One, two. this before but at measure nine they use the note high B flat and remember high B flat is the A key and then you put your thumb on the long skinny key in the back you leave the hole open but you play the A key and that that that's called the register key at the same time and it creates high B flat try the high B flat and see if you can get it to sound like that High B flat. That's the note that's used at measure nine. It wasn't used in any of the other songs. High B flat is used at measure nine. Okay, and that was, so you might want to rewind it if you fumbled at measure nine. Certainly uh, rewind the video and play that song again. All right, see you next time.